Hi guys, this is a video on how to properly maintain and fill up your Chimera airsoft grenade. Of course, like in everything that's mechanical, if you do a proper maintenance once in a while, it's going to last you way longer. Okay, so just starting for first, you take the pin out, open up the Chimera, and using some kind of tool that you can fit in these two holes, just for leverage, You'll hold it like this and unscrew the center cap. Should be fairly easy. Once this is done, take care to keep the O-ring, take care to keep your ball. We're going to push on the red latch. The red latch comes out and we are going to carefully remove the inner seal with the help of a small screwdriver. Okay, so what we want to do is lubricate this. Just use a um, non soluble based um, lubricant. You can use silicone if you want. And just smear it all over. Once this is done, we'll put it back in. Put a little bit on the walls of the red latch. Do the same thing for the ball bearing, coat it nice and good, and obviously do the same thing for the o-ring. Now we just want to put everything back together. Maybe a little bit here on the blue seal as well, there you go, very nice all nice and coated. Don't get too much uh, lubricant on the threads. Okay, so now the only thing we need to do is to, once again, screw everything back together using exactly the same tools. Now, what we want to do is to screw it just enough so that when we insert the pin, the pin slightly touches the red latch. It doesn't need to go in forcing it, but it shouldn't be allowed to move as well. Okay, so here we go. It's done. Just maybe just a little bit more. Do not overdo it. Do not over tighten it. There's no need for that. We just need it to. This is perfect. Exactly. Okay, the maintenance has now been done. The only thing we need to do is to fill it up. To fill the Chimera up, we don't need to use uh, liquid gas because it's not supposed to reset itself and repeat uh, the shot like in a, um, a magazine. Uh, it does only one shot, so it only needs the gas. It doesn't need the liquid part. Um, as you know, if I'm put, uh, pointing the gas can up and I press on it, only gas comes out. The pressure of the gas depends on the quality of the gas that you buy. But if I had have the gas bottle pointing down and if I press this, you can see we have liquid gas coming out. This liquid gas is extremely cold. You see this is frozen already. And what happens is if we try to put liquid gas inside of the Chimera, what's going to happen eventually is that we freeze all of the, the seals and the colder they get, the worse they, they work. About the gas, the more pressure you have, up to 120 PSI. If you can get 120 PSI, it's perfect for this. Don't use red gas. Red gas is way too powerful for, for this, and you gain nothing out of it. Uh, also, sometimes in colder weather, the green gas, it's only like 65 PSI. That's, that's really low. So you want to go for the 100, 120 PSI range. So to fill it up, we'll just pull the Chimera on top, press it down, wait for like a second, and then quickly remove the Chimera, and it's done. This is all you need. Now we can put uh, BBs inside, we can put some powder, some water, whatever you feel like, and put the center back in place. To throw it, rapidly pull the pin out, and now you're ready to throw it. Once it hits a solid surface, it's gonna detonate. I'm gonna show you right here in the ground, and here you go. You have nice detonation no liquid gas and everything is working smooth and properly if you have any questions or any comments please leave them below we'll get back to you